Welcome to GTA Wood. In this video, I will share a guide on how to fix all launch errors in Grand Theft Auto V. This video will cover solutions for both those who purchased the game and are playing through the Rockstar Games launcher, and those who got the game for free from the internet. Like this video, subscribe, and let's begin. First, I will cover solutions for Rockstar Games launcher game owners, and if you have the free version of GTA V, you can skip to the timestamps on your screen. Either way, please make a backup of your game before making any changes to it. This method is for premium users. All right, to fix the game, I will share two options. Number one, verifying the integrity of the game files, and number two, applying a solution file. Let's take a look at the first option. First, open your Rockstar Games Launcher. Now go to the settings, and once you're in settings, click on GTA 5 from the left side. Now, scroll down and look for the option called Verify Integrity. Simply click on it, and this feature will automatically check the whole game and fix any problems you might be facing. Let's check option two. First, open this web page and scroll down to the download section. You need to download the solution file using the first premium download button. Now I will share how to apply this file. This is the file I downloaded. Right click on the file and open it using WinRAR or 7-Zip. Do not use your computer's built-in extractor. When you extract the file, it will ask for a password and the password is 123. Once you extract the file, open it. Put this folder on the right side of the screen, and after you do that, open your Rockstar Games Launcher again. Now go to Settings. Once you're in Settings, click on GTA 5 from the left side, scroll down, and look for the option called View Installation Folder. Simply click the Open button to access the Game Directory folder. Once you are in the directory, put this folder on the left side of the screen. Before applying the fix, I recommend making a backup of your game folder. Now, open the Solution folder that you downloaded from the website. The installation is very simple. Open the DLL folder, Select all the DLL files and copy them. After that, paste these files into the GTA 5 directory folder. Next, go back to the solution folder and open the folder in M. Select all the files and copy them. Paste these files into the GTA 5 directory. After that, go back to the solution folder again and open the last folder. Just like before, copy all the files and replace them in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right, guys, once you do that, it's time to launch the game. On your first run, you should turn off your internet and then play the game using the Rockstar Games Launcher. I hope your game is now working and that you can enjoy both GTA 5 Story Mode and GTA Online if you own the Premium Edition. Now I will share the solution for those who got the game for free from the internet. You can skip to the timestamps on your screen to hear my final thoughts, or like and subscribe to show your support. With that, it's time to fix the game who got the game for free from the internet. To fix the game, first, open this web page and scroll down to the download section. Once you're there, you need to download the second file using the provided download button. So I have this file here, and I want to clarify two things. Number one, do not extract this file. I will show you how to use this solution file in a moment. Number two, this solution is for those who have the latest version of GTA 5. If you have a very old version of GTA 5, like 1.40, I will leave a different video on this topic to help fix your game problems. Now, back to the installation. I need you to put your solution folder on the right side of the screen, and after that, open your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory folder, and put this folder on the left side of the screen. Here are all the locations where you can find your GTA 5 folder, but since you got the game for free, you should probably know where you installed the game. Simply open it, and place it on the left side of the screen. Before we proceed with the installation, I need you to copy your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory folder location from the top bar and open your Windows Defender. Once here, go to Virus and Threat Protection. Scroll down and click on the Manage Settings option under the Virus and Threat Protection Settings section. Now scroll to the bottom of your screen and click on the Add or Remove Exclusions option under the Controlled Folder Access section. Once here, click on the button called Add an Exclusion and select the option Folder from the drop-down. In the window that appears, open your GTA 5 directory folder using either the address you copied or by searching for it on your computer. After that, click on the Select Folder option, and it should add your game folder here. This way, your game files will not be deleted due to false positive issues in Defender. I recommend you do the same in your antivirus program if you have one installed. Now we will apply the fix. In the solution folder, we have this file, and as I said before, do not extract this file. You need to open this file with the help of WinRAR or 7-Zip we will use WinRAR. Once it loads up, let's put this window on the right side of the screen. Some parts of the installation are different, so make sure you follow step by step. Open the first DLL folder, and I need you to select all the files from here and drag them directly to the GTA 5 main folder. It may ask for a password, and the password is 123. After you replace the files, go back to the solution, open the second main folder, and just like before, select all the files and drag them directly into the main folder of Grand Theft Auto 5 
replacing all the files. After you do that, go back to the solution, and it's time to apply the last linker folder. Open it up and go to the first dat folder. Select the second metadata file, go to the x64 folder inside the GTA 5 directory. Once you're in the x64 folder, drag this file into the folder and replace it normally. Now, go back to the GTA 5 directory, as well as the solution folder, and open the second folder named dat1. Go to the update folder, open the x64 store folder, and paste this file there. After you replace this file, go back to the GTA 5 directory, and back to the solution folder, then open the last RPF folder. Now select the last two files. To copy these, go to the update folder in Grand Theft Auto 5, and simply drag the solution files here, and replace them. Also, note that WinRAR or 7-Zip may ask for the password every time you copy something from it. The password is 123. Now the installation is not complete yet. You need to do something very important. First, go back to the GTA 5 directory and make this window full screen. After that, scroll down and look for this file called playgtav.exe. Once you find it, right-click on it and create a shortcut to your desktop, just like I'm doing here. Once you create the shortcut, go to your desktop and right-click on the GTA 5 shortcut. Then, select the Properties option. It should open this window, and here we will add a small code to make the game playable. Let me zoom in on it so you can follow carefully. Look for this option called Target, and I need you to click on the very end of this address. Once you do that, hit Enter to make some space and write the code on your screen. Make sure you do it the same way I did. After that, simply hit Apply or OK to save the settings. And just like that, it's time to test the gameplay. And as you can see, my game is now working without errors. I have a link in the description where you can buy your own GTA 5 at a very low price. Not only will this let you play the real game, but you will also be able to play GTA 5 online because you guys are missing out on so much fun. You can even play with your friends with complete freedom and enjoy some truly amazing missions in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. I hope this video was helpful. If you are still facing problems or any kind of unique errors, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help you. You should also check out my mods videos, because there are so many cool mods that you can install from my channel to experience the story mode of GTA 5 with a new touch. I request everyone to subscribe to my channel to help me reach 1,000 subscribers. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to one of my subscribers for always commenting and supporting me. All the links are in the description. Leave a like, subscribe, and watch the video on your screen.